We believe that the organized labor will see reason with the federal government, the National Assembly and everybody to call off this strike in the interest of Nigeria. After a four-hour meeting with the leadership of the National Assembly on Sunday in Abuja, the leadership of the organized labor has announced that there is no going back on the nationwide industrial action slated to start today, Monday, June 3, 2024. The National Assembly had pleaded with Labour to suspend its planned strike and return to the negotiating table, cautioning Labour leaders to consider the potential collateral damage of industrial action, which may lead to massive job losses. Senate President Gatwila Babio and Speaker of the House of Representatives Tajdin Abbas led the appeal. In the last four hours, we have been making appeal, and we are still appealing to the leadership of the NLC and the TUC to quickly return to the negotiating table with government with a view to finding a lasting solution on this minimum wage. So we thank you. Without going into more details, I believe we've had very positive meetings. We've met from both sides, and we are happy and satisfied that action will be taken on both sides. I feel that this strike is suspended and negotiation commence in the interest of the Nigerian economy and the interest of all Nigerians. One is that we have agreed to prevail on the government to revisit the issue of the 35,000 uh, uh, Nigerian uh, workers wage award that uh, was uh, started in October last year and stopped in February. Uh, we agreed with the Minister of Finance, the head of the FDM, that this award will continue on to such a time when the minimum wage is agreed. We also agreed that the NFC and TUC will go and consult with their people with the view to uh, suspend their track action as soon as possible to allow for negotiation to continue. President of the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, Festus Asifo, who spoke on behalf of Labour, comprising the TUC and the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC on Sunday, said the outcome of the meeting would have to be communicated to the organs of both Labour centres before any decision could be reached. He further expressed disappointments that the government was still dilly-dallying and not ready to sign off on a living wage for Nigerian workers, despite its pleas urging Labour not to cripple the economy. We would have been much more happier if this evening that the issues of uh, we have a, 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 a great understanding that by tomorrow morning we will sign off issues bordering on the minimum wage because before we, as at the last meeting, we were very very close to signing off, I mean close in the sense that uh, if the figures were right it's just to prepare a report and sign, so it's not something that is that lengthy anymore. But we have listened to them. We would take all their plea to our organs, and we would have an organs meeting, taking what they have promised and the pleas that they have made to our organs. For now, we don't have the powers to call off the industrial action, so the industrial action will continue while we would have a conversation with our respective organs as soon as possible. The National Assembly intervened in the deadlock between the federal government and labor unions, acknowledging that both parties have valid reasons for their positions. The wage award that uh, government brought into being in October last year. Um, you remember that when we signed the agreement with Labour in October of last year, it was agreed that uh, until the new wage regime comes into being, wage award of 35,000 for federally paid workers will continue. And that is the position of government. 
Uh, the federal government will continue to pay its workers the wage award that was started last year until a new wage regime uh, is instituted. And we believe that the organized labor will see reason with the federal government, the National Assembly, and everybody to call off this track in the interest of Nigeria. We said earlier that you know, paying this amount that labor has asked for is like uh, paying a cumulative of uh, 9.5 trillion naira to only 1.2 million Nigerians. This is a country of over 200 million people and others also deserve other services of government. We have roads to fix, we have hospitals to build, we have education system to, uh, to fix. Uh, the federal government is very sensitive to the demand of labor. The meeting was a last ditch effort to reach a consensus and avert the strike scheduled to begin on Monday.